Hi everyone! Today we're going to be learning how to make this cute strawberry headband. Um, I spent a lot of time designing it, so I hope you enjoy! So for materials we're going to use white, red and green 8 ply acrylic yarn, a pair of scissors and some old yarn scraps as stitch markers. So our first step involves making a slip knot with the white yarn. To do so we are going to wrap the yarn in front of our fingers and then behind and then we're going to cross over in the front as I'm doing now and then I'm going to put the tail behind all of those loops we just made. Now I'm going to insert my crochet hook on top of everything except for the tail which is in the back and then I'm just going to pull tight and there you have a slip knot. So the first step is to create a foundation chain of 48. Um, to do a chain, you yarn under and pull through the loop. That's one chain. So then we're going to do another yarn under, pull through. Yarn under, pull through, yarn under, pull through. And we're going to do that 48 times. So now I have finished my chain and this is what it should look like. Okay, so for our next step, we are going to do a row of single crochets into the back loops, um, which I will describe to you in a second. Um, so often people crochet directly into the front loops, which are these V shapes here. Um, so like this, they just go in sort of here, then they do the single crochet. But it does look neater if you use the back loops. So when you rotate about 90 degrees, you can see those little bumps on the back. Each one of those bumps is a back loop, um, so we'll be using those for our single crochets. So we'll start by skipping the first back loop, which is that one there, and going into the second. Um, so just inserting the crochet hook, Yep, yarning under, pulling through, yarning under, and pulling through both. And that's just a single crochet into the back loop. Um, so we'll do one more um, after inserting a stitch marker. So here I'm just placing my stitch marker underneath the first stitch um, and then reinserting my hook into the loop. And we'll do a couple more of these. So inserting into that back loop there that you can see. Yarning under, pulling through, yarning under and pulling through both. And then the next back loop is there. So inserting the hook, yarning under, pulling through, yarning under and pulling through both. We're going to repeat this stitch all the way down to the end. So now I'm on my last um, single crochet into the back loops and to finish off I'm just going to chain one. Um, to do so I'll just yarn under, pull through and then turn my work. Ready for the next row. Um, so for the next row we're just going to do an entire row of single crochets. Um, so going into this first stitch I'm going to insert my crochet hook, yarn under, pull through yarn under and pull through both. Now I'm going to insert a stitch marker onto this side as well. Um, so just inserting underneath that first stitch we made and then pulling through this piece of yarn. Cool and then we can continue on. Um, so inserting the hook into the next stitch, yarning under and pulling through yarning under and pulling through both. Once more, inserting the hook, yarning under, pulling through, yarning under and pulling through both. We're going to do this all the way down to the end of the row. Alright, now that I've done my final single crochet, 
I'm going to chain two times. So yarning under, pulling through, yarning under, and pulling through. And then I'm going to turn my work. This is what it should look like. For the next row, we're going to do a double crochet into the first stitch. Um, so yarning under before inserting the hook and then inserting the hook into the first stitch, yarning under and pulling through the stitch, yarning under, pulling through two loops, yarning under and pulling through the next two loops. And then um, we're going to change to red. So I just put my red over the crochet hook and then I'll pull it through chaining one with the red. Now I'm going to hold the red yarn with my left hand instead of the white and I'm going to skip one stitch and then in the second stitch I'm going to make five double crochets. So the second stitch is the one I'm pointing to here. So um, yarn under for a double crochet, insert the hook, yarn under, pull through the stitch, yarn under, pull through two of the three loops, yarn under, and pull through two. And we'll repeat this five times into the same stitch. So once again, yarning under, inserting the hook into the same stitch, yarning under, pulling through, yarning under and pulling through two loops, yarning under and pulling through the next two. Um, so that's two double crochets, we'll do three more. So once again, yarning underneath, inserting the hook into the same stitch, yarning under, pulling through, yarning under, pulling through two, yarning under, pulling through two. Two more to go. So yarning under, inserting the hook, yarning under, pulling through the stitch, yarning under, pulling through two, yarning under, pulling through two. And for the last one, yarning under, inserting the hook into the same stitch, yarning under, pulling through, yarning under, and pulling through two yarning under and pulling through two again. Now we've finished our five double crochets. Um, we're going to move the stitch marker into the first um, single crochet that we made. So there should be two white loops. You want to insert it into the first one. That's your first stitch. So inserting our crochet hook underneath the first stitch and picking up the stitch marker to pull through. So now we're going to reinsert to where we were before. Um, we're going to chain two, so yarning under, pulling through, yarning under, pulling through, and then we're going to skip two and do five double crochets into the third. So one, two, and that's the third stitch. So we'll be yarning under, inserting into that third stitch, yarning under, pulling through, yarning under, pulling through two yarning under and pulling through two again and we'll repeat that five times exactly the same as the first one so two three four and five and then we are going to chain two so yarning under, pulling through, yarning under and pulling through. And we're just going to continue this pattern. So skipping two and then doing five double crochets into the third, then chaining two, then skipping two and doing five double crochets into the third all the way until we get to the last set of five double crochets.
Okay, now I'm on my fifth double crochet of my last strawberry. I will start it like normal, insert um, yarn under, pull through two. But before pulling through the next two, I'm actually going to change back to white. So just laying the white on top of the crochet hook and pulling it through those two instead of the red. Now just using the white, I'm going to skip one and do a double crochet into the next stitch, which is the last stitch. So yarning under, inserting, yarning under, pulling through, yarning under, pulling through two, and yarning over and pulling through two again. And then we're gonna chain one and cut. And just pull out the crochet hook to fasten off. You can tighten that little knot made if you like as well. Um, so this is what we have so far. I'm just going to tidy up the ends. So I'm going to cut off the red that's still attached. Um, but before doing that, I'm going to make two little knots just to hold it all in place before crocheting it into the work. And I'll do the same on this side as well. Okay, so this is what we should have so far for this next row. Um, we're going to start on the same side we started our last row on. So the opposite side where we ended the last row. Then we'll start with a slip stitch. So making a cross, popping the yarn tail behind, um, inserting the hook on top of everything except the yarn tail, and then pulling tight. We're going to single crochet into the first um, stitch. So inserting the crochet hook, yarning over, pulling through, pulling through both. And then we're going to do one single crochet into this chain space here. Um, so the, the space between the red and the double crochet. So inserting the hook, pulling through, yarning under and pulling through both. Now for this next part, we're going to need our green and we're going to just insert our hook into that first red double crochet stitch and then we're going to pick up the green, yarn under the green technically and pull it underneath that first stitch, alright? And then we're going to pick up the green so we can hold it. We're going to insert our crochet hook into the second double crochet stitch. So just there. And we're going to yarn under the green and pull it through again. And the same thing for the third stitch. So inserting the hook and picking up the green and pulling it through. Same for the fourth stitch. And the fifth stitch as well. So you'll end up with a total of five green loops on your crochet hook. Um, then we're going to insert into the next chain space. And we're going to pick up white this time instead of green. Sorry, getting a bit tangled. So yarning under the white. Picking it up. Yarning under the white and pulling it through all seven loops and then picking up the white and chaining one and that's how we get the little strawberries so next we're going to do two single crochets into the chain space using white so inserting into the chain space pulling through yarning under and pulling through two inserting into the chain space yarning under the white Pulling it through, 
yarning under the white and pulling through two and then we'll repeat what we did with that first strawberry so we're gonna re in we're gonna insert into the first double crochet pull the green insert into the second pull out the green insert into the third fourth and into the fifth and then inserting into the chain space yarning under the white this time and pulling it through yarning under the white again and pulling it through all seven loops and then chain one using the white and then again we'll do two single crochets into the neighboring chain space using white so inserting the hook picking up the white yarning under the white and pulling it through two inserting to the chain space yarning under yarning under and pulling through two all right and then we'll keep repeating this pattern so after the final strawberry you want to insert into the chain space and do one single crochet using the white and then insert into the last stitch so the top of that last double crochet and doing a single crochet and then we're going to chain one and turn our work for this row we are going to do two single crochets skip one three single crochets skip three single crochets skip and continue that pattern so this is me on my second and then I'm gonna skip one. Um, the one we're skipping is really tiny and that's the chain that we made at the top of the strawberries. Um, so now one, two, three single crochets and then skip. So just three single crochets, skip, three single crochets, skip, three single crochets, skip and continue all the way until the end. When we get to the end, we'll chain one and turn our work. For the next row, we're just going to single crochet right across, so inserting and doing our single crochets. Inserting, yarning under, pulling through and pulling through two, all the way across. Now at the end, we can chain one and we can cut. Pull out the crochet hook and tighten the knot. So now you should have something that looks a bit like this. Um, we're going to create two triangles on either side of the headband um, for the border. I've popped a slip stitch on my crochet hook. Um, I'm going to insert on the side of the last row that we did. And while doing this, I'm going to hide all of the yarn tails. So I'm going to put them over the work and then crocheting as we normally would, yarning under, pulling through and then pulling through both on top of all of the loose ends. And then we're going to just do this down the side of the headband. There should be a total of seven single crochets in total because we've made seven rows, um, counting the double crochet row as two rows. So now we've got to the area with the double crochet so we're going to insert into the double crochet space and do two single crochets into that space. Now we'll do two single crochets into the second and first row that we did so one single crochet
and two single crochets making sure to crochet over all of the loose ends then we're going to chain one and turn our work now we're going to skip one so that one I'm pointing to and go into the second stitch and single crochet across so it should be six single crochets across And after our last single crochet, we're going to chain one, turn our work again. We're going to skip one and now do five single crochets across. And we'll continue this pattern of chaining one um, and turning the work, skipping one and single crocheting across until we only have one single crochet to do. So now I'm on my final single crochet, I'm going to chain one at the end and then I'm going to cut and pull through and tie it in. So I'm going to repeat those same steps on this side of the headband as well. So seven crochets across with including two into the double crochet space. Um, chaining one, skipping one, and then single crocheting across and continuing that until there is one single crochet left. Now you should have something that looks like this with two triangles on either side. I'm making a slip knot now. So crossing the strings and putting the tail end behind, inserting the crochet hook over everything except for the tail and pulling tightly. I'm going to insert um, into the single single crochet at the very top of the triangle. I'm going to slip stitch, so yarning under and pulling through both loops 
and then I'm going to chain 50 times. So yarning under, pulling through, yarning under, pulling through 50 times. Now that I have reached the end of my chain, I'm going to skip one and single crochet into that second stitch. So yarning under, pulling through, yarning under, pulling through two. And I'm going to single crochet five times into this stitch. So that's two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch I did. So counting back from five and then inserting into that first single crochet stitch I did into that stitch and slip stitching so pulling through both and now I'm going to do one single crochet onto the chain that I made so putting the crochet hook underneath the chain yarning under and pulling under the chain and then pulling through both loops now I'm going to slip stitch all the way down the chain into the back loops. So you can see our back loops just here, these little bumps. Inserting the crochet hook, yarning under and pulling through both loops. We're going to do this all the way down to the end. Now I'm doing my last um, slip stitch. Now I'm going to go down the side of the triangle and I'm going to do seven single crochets, one for each row of the triangle. So inserting into that first row, hiding all of the yarn tails at the same time, pulling through, yarning under and pulling through both. And we'll do that seven times. Two. You'll find if you stretch the work, the amount of holes you see tell you which row you're on. So on this one we saw three holes, so this is our third single crochet, and then we can see four holes there, that's the fourth row. And so our seventh single crochet will fall onto the row with seven holes. Now that I've finished my seven single crochets, I'm going to slip stitch across this whole border down the bottom. So inserting into the first stitch, yarning under and pulling through both. And I'm going to do this all the way down until I get to the triangle on the other side. Now that I've reached the other side, I'm going to single crochet up this triangle exactly the same as on the other side. We'll do seven, one single crochet in each row. At the end, I'm going to do a slip stitch into the same stitch where I've popped the last single crochet into. So inserting and pulling through both and repeating exactly what was done on the other side, chaining 50, skipping one, doing five single crochets, doing one single crochet under the chain and slip stitching all the way back down. Like on the other side, we're going to do seven single crochets down this side of the triangle. And then we're going to slip stitch all the way down again. Now we're going to do seven single crochets up this edge of the triangle. On 
on the very last single crochet we're going to slip stitch back into the same stitch that we did the single crochet into we're going to chain one and cut and fasten that knot I'm just using my crochet hook here to hide that last yarn end I'm just pulling it through some stitches in the back of the headband Now you're all done and you should have something like this. Congrats!